Hey crew, welcome back to the Spiritual Social. I'm Lexi. I felt very guided to do a reading tonight, almost um, as if I'm channeling a message from the person on your mind. I think this is really important for some of you out there to receive this in time. I don't know, I just felt inspired by spirit. It's midnight and I really felt like this needs to come out. So um, I wanted to give you guys three choices and I will pull the cards and describe what this person wants to say almost as if I am speaking with that person's voice. So bear in mind, this can apply to a person that you've just met, a person that you have a past history with, that you are in no contact, or a person that you're fantasizing about and um, almost like a crush. Um, it could potentially be also someone in the future if you're single and looking forward to someone then this could actually be what your person is thinking at the moment before they meet you, okay? For those of you that are in connection, this is your person's thought process regarding your relationship during this period, okay? So take it as it applies. I just felt like it's really, really important to find out what do they want to say to you, but they can't at the moment, okay? For various reasons. So you have a choice today between three tarot decks. You can choose between the Deviant Moon Tarot deck, the Dreaming Way Tarot, and the Chinese Tarot. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead with the Deviant Moon Tarot. So the decks have been pre-shuffled. I'm just going to dive straight in. Okay, so... <clears throat> I feel like I'm walking on pins and needles. I'm almost driven desperate by my thinking. I feel as if I can't get enough rest. I don't know whom to trust. I don't know what to do. Night times are the worst. They bring up a lot of fears for me and I'm powerless in front of them. I really don't know what to do. And sometimes I wake up saying your name. I say your name in my dreams, I say it when I wake up, I think of you. And I have to say, sometimes I also touch myself thinking of you. This anxiety that is provoked in me because we are not together is really getting the best of me. Ultimately, I just crave to have this deep emotional stability with you. I want to know whom I can rely on. I want to rely on you. I genuinely just want to spend a lot of time with you doing all those things that lovers do. But somehow we are being blocked at the moment. Although I do feel like the path towards being together is becoming clear and clear right now. It's almost as if the obstacles are being removed. And who knows, perhaps very soon we'll be able to have it all. I'm working towards building financial wealth for us. I want to keep you secure. I want to give you everything. There is a person in my life that I need to struggle with. She can be a bit overbearing sometimes. She's telling me what to do. I feel a bit lost. I feel burdened by all the responsibilities. The karmic pull towards this person is always getting the best of me. And I feel powerless in front of the situation. The worst thing is that through what she says and she does, she infiltrates my thoughts and then I go back to square one. I think of you most of the times when I'm with her. Because again, I can't... I just can't relinquish the thought of you. I want to have everything with you. I go through periods when I don't want to think about you. I need to stay true to my current responsibilities and then I go back. I want to be with you. I just could be so happy. We could be so, so happy together. I just don't know what to do. I'm being pulled in two different directions. My heart is leading me towards you. My mind and my responsibility, my sense of morals is leading me towards the situation I'm currently finding myself in. With this person, with the children, 
with the environment in which I am, in the region in which I live. I feel that the cycles of the moon really speak to us. I feel that whenever there is a full moon, I yearn for you more and I desire you more. My desire for you increases so much more than when there is a new moon. But I think about you day and night, rest assured of that. You are the person I love and you are the person I want to build with in this lifetime. I have this urge to fight myself sometimes. I feel like I'm closer to taking a right decision and then I self-sabotage myself. I feel like I need to make a decision in this case. I can't keep going back and forth between her and you and her and you and my responsibilities and the beautiful life I could have with you. I'm just thinking one day I'm going to go towards you the other day. No, I'd rather stay put where I am. There are two forces that are fighting within me, the light and the dark, and I just don't know which one to choose. The decision-making process is killing me. But slowly, I feel like whatever started the moment I met you or the moment when I will meet you is going to come to a fruition. I feel like I will get my gift in the end. I feel like I will get you. You'll have me mind, body and souls, I, I want to be yours, I want you to be mine, I feel like we need to build something together, I want to build with you, all I'm asking is for you to have a bit more patience with me, I don't know, sometimes I feel so despondent, sometimes I feel like all I want to do is push everyone away, it's run away from all the troubles, from the decision, from the responsibilities, from the heaviness that I'm feeling in my life at the moment. I just want this to be over and done with. I don't understand why I'm being put through this situation. But then, in the middle of the night, when I manage to get a little bit of stillness, I realize this is part of my spiritual growth. I wasn't a very spiritual person until I met you. And then all of a sudden completely different world open up in front of me and in spite of the fact that I feel so defensive and that I have to guard the secret my secret spiritual life from my current life circumstances I do feel blessed because I came into contact with you or will come into contact with you <laughs> no wonder that I have to be so defensive I have so many battles to fight. So many people want to take from me. They want to irk me. They trigger me. I'm battling with my parents. I'm battling with my siblings, with my relatives, with my co-workers. And potentially it's because I can't make decisions. I don't feel strong enough. I don't be feel brave enough. I feel I have so much more to learn. But the worst thing is that I'm using myself against myself. And I'm creating all this conflict sometimes you know sometimes I feel as if if things are too good if things are too peaceful I can't express my masculinity it's like I need to have this drama I need to have this constant coming and going action hmm. or do I the problem is I am very used to actually taking more than my share in a lot of the situation. I'm gonna admit I've been very selfish. Very, very selfish. I bring a truce. I try to bring peace into a situation. And then I sneakily take more than my share. I'm, I'm quite selfish. I, I haven't mastered yet this give and take. Perhaps this is why I've been put on this path. But it's difficult, I'm not gonna lie. It's not easy, it's not easy. And I feel so ashamed. I feel like sometimes I'm just losing my mind with anxiety. Other days I wake up and I just wanna fight. 
I want to fight this fear out of me. And then some other days I wake up hard thinking of you. And I just have these wild fantasies that we are together and we have it all. And it feels good and peaceful. And I don't need to struggle with anyone anymore. Except with our children. <laughs> so new beginnings are on my mind all the time. Especially one in which I completely dismantle the current stability in my life. It's a false stability. I don't like it. I feel burdened by the current situation. This person keeps taking from me and I keep deceiving her. This is not making any sense. I'm not happy with my current life circumstances. I made these choices when I was younger and I thought that this, is, was, this was what was expected of me. But I want to churn up the fabric of my life and remake it. I want to have this wild courage to express my desires left and right. I want one side of the two that are conflicting within me to overtake me. <laughs> I want to rip apart everything that I've built and created anew. And then I go back into thinking that I'm a little bit afraid, to be honest. I'm a little bit afraid of being by myself, of being alone. I'm afraid that you won't take me. And then if I destroy the fabric of my life, what will I be left with? I'm afraid that in the dark, alone, a lot of really traumatic things from my childhood would come up. I will be faced with a lot of memories I just don't want to think of. But maybe it's time to analyze them. I feel like life is pushing me in this direction. So I'm going to do the work. <laughs> I'm going to do the work. I've isolated myself. I want a fresh start. And I want to make this decision. And I want to be brave. I'm doing this hard work at the moment. I just ask you to be a little bit more patient with me. You are my hope. You are my counterpart. And if I was able to progress from the Eight of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles, this gives me hope that we will be together one day for the rest of our lives. Okay, pal number one. This was the message that your person wanted to convey to you. A lot of conflicting aspects, but very beautiful at the same time. This person is doing a lot of self-growth and self-development in this period. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe and share this video. I'm always happy to have you around. So I'm going to move right now to pile number two. This was for those of you that chose the Dreaming Way Tarot. shuffle the deck but i felt the need to do it again oh guys and before i started this video there was um a drop of wax that fell from my candle but it kind of splashed directly onto the table and i do feel that something is coming forward so that was the initial intuitive hit that i had it's like wax splashing on the table all of a sudden is a sign that something is coming forward. And I feel that, I, I did not say this for pile number one, I feel that this is a specific message for you, pile number two. This is also my pile. So let's see, what does this person that you have in your mind have to say to you? Again, this can apply to a person that you have yet to meet. It could be just um, their stream of consciousness right now as they're growing and developing, if they are. Okay, so... I feel quite victorious about my transformation. It's been taking a while now to acknowledge the fact that I am genuinely in a process of growth. I didn't realize it. I was a bit blind to it for a very long time, but I just had this epiphany lately and definitely, I'm definitely changing. I feel it. I feel it within my gut. 
I feel it within my body, I feel it within my mind. Even my physique is changing a little bit. I'm starting to look differently. I feel like I'm really coming into my own in this period. And I'm really charged up sexually as well. Talk about being charged up sexually. I have these wet dreams about you. Or I have these strong, really strong fantasies. They tend to overpower me to such an extent that, you know, sometimes I need a little bit of time to myself to just think of you and enjoy a private time with you. <laughs> Away from other people's prying eyes. I feel like you've opened my heart. Meeting you was such a fated encounter. You've definitely pushed me on this path of self-transformation and self-growth. But I can't believe how exciting and sexually erotic and powerful this is as well. I've been so horny since I met you. It's no joke. And I think that these fantasies, these dreams, these lush things I picture in my mind are really bringing me back to life. I felt like I was walking dead for a while now. So I took all of this powerful sexual energy that I feel towards you and I placed myself in a period of rest. I kind of pulled pulled the plug on my social life. I self-isolated myself by my own will. I stopped interacting with the people that I have been interacting with. I'm not texting that much anymore. I'm not on social media anymore. I just am going deeply within. I've started meditating. I've started taking better care of myself. But I'm also trying to master my feelings. I'm trying to see if I can get a grip on this situation. If I can somehow master the sexual flow that is coursing through me. I'm learning about Kundalini. I'm learning about aligning my chakras. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying this journey. Because ultimately, what I want is to have everything. Yeah, I'm a bit greedy like that. But I'm also very ambitious. Yeah, and this is just who I am. And I think you're going to enjoy it too. I want us to have everything. I want us to have a lot of wealth. I want us to have a lot of sex. I want us to enjoy life. I want us to travel a lot. And I want you to teach me a lot of really new, interesting things. I want to show you so many of my passions and my hobbies. And I definitely want to show you around, introduce you to my family, my friends. But at the moment, <laughs> I've sneakily pulled back from everyone. I really love this period where I can just go within. It's a first for me in my life. I'm usually so sociable, so open. But this time, hmm, this time I'm doing things differently. <laughs> Needless to say, I think I'm falling in love with you. I think that this is what is happening. The fantasies, the daydreaming, well, the morning wood. <laughs> The wetness, the perspiration, everything. I sweat just thinking of you. I feel like parts of my body contracting. My heart is beating faster every time I hear your name or somebody remind or something or somebody reminding me of you. There are signs everywhere. I'm so looking forward to seeing you again. And I'm so looking forward to meeting you. You're literally like my dream come true. You're like this beautiful, ideal person that I had in my mind I would fall in love with when I was little. And I just want to kneel in front of you and ask you to marry me. I want to give you everything that represents a gift to show you how I feel for you. I feel so hazy. I don't even know how to put this into words. It's very complicated. I don't want to talk to you about this. I want to show you. 
<laughs> I feel like I want us to get drunk together. I want to take you out one night and have dinner with you. And I want us to get drunk together because I don't feel that I can genuinely tell you how I feel about you without being a little bit tipsy. I'm not good at expressing my emotions, to be honest. I'm good at being the life of the party. I'm good at meeting people. I'm good at socializing. But feelings, that's a first for me. Especially feelings that are this deep as the ones that you've created within me. So I think it would be great if we could be tipsy. Just have fun and relax one night. And then maybe get a little bit deeper. Get to know each other more intimate. Start to kiss and caress each other. And maybe then I can whisper what I feel about you. At the moment, I'm really guarding my heart and I drew a very heavy line, a very heavy boundary around me. There's a reason why I isolated myself. It's really important to grow, but it's also really important to stop the things that have been triggering me. I don't like to be at the mercy of things that are triggering me. I want to be able to overcome challenges. I am very ambitious. I like to exceed expectations and I like to win. And oh baby, I am going to win at this. I just need a bit of time right now. Time to master my breathing, take control over my emotions and figure out what is the plan. What should come first? Because I really don't want to mess this up. And I really don't want to push you away or be pushed away by you if I come too soon towards you. I'm healing from a very deep loss. I haven't spoken to anyone about this. There has been a betrayal in my family from somebody I held very close and dear to my heart. It's so strange that I met you exactly at a time when this happened. It felt like something was being taken away from my life. Something I didn't want to lose. And then something I did not expect would come into my life arrived. You're perfect just the way you are. But I don't want to show you this part of me. This part that suffers. This part that blames. That accuses. I'm slowly coming out of it. And I'm realizing that what happened had to happen. It was a necessary evil, if you want to call it like that. You know, I'm actually quite a balanced person. I'm very generous for all my extroversion. I know I can be a bit much sometimes, but I love to give. I'm generous. I genuinely am. And I like to give from my heart. And I want to give a lot to you. <laughs> I want to take this cup and make it into six cups. I want us to make memories, memorable things that we'll have in our family albums. I want an Instagram just for ourselves. <laughs> I definitely want to enjoy life with you. And I am slowly building back my resources, building back my strength, balancing myself, letting go of the arguments and just becoming more spiritual. Because I want to see how this energy grows and I want to see rewards for all this hard work. I get a bit moody if I don't. <laughs> Who wouldn't? I mean, if you put a lot of work into things, don't you want to see results? I certainly do. I certainly want to see things growing, multiplying. I love prosperity and I want to create it together with you. And I know I can create it with you because you're a person that respects her self-worth. <laughs> Talk about falling in love with you. Talk about union. You're my partner. I want you to be my partner in crime. So don't worry. This waiting is worth it. It's worth it because it's bringing me closer to you. This period where you were doubting, not knowing what was happening, I was just healing from this family drama. I don't want to place this on you. I don't think you deserve this drama. You've got your own things to handle. 
but I've been keeping a close eye on you because you are my partner. And I think that in our dreams, some form of spiritual energy, an angel, potentially an ancestor, has been uniting us. That's why I can't stop fantasizing about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I'm so nostalgic. I feel so drawn towards that first moment when we met. Every little thing that you did, how your hair was standing, how you wiped your cheek, how you moved, how you got out of the car, everything, I remembered it all and I stored it in my bank of memories. I'm replaying it. <laughs> I want to remember you as you were, but I also want to make more memories with you. Very soon you will hear from me. There will be expansion and growth in this relationship. We no longer have to sit on the fence. Because I love you. And I'm going to be your crowning king. <laughs> You'll crown me as the king in this relationship. I guarantee it. Wait until you see what I'll come back with. My beautiful treasure. My beautiful gift. I can't wait to start my life with you. <laughs> okay, pal number two. That was the message from the person that you had on your mind. I hope it helped. I hope it brought some solace. Um, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share it. All of these things bring a lot of happiness to me and show you that, you know, you appreciate and support this channel. So thank you very much. Okay, so pile number three, or deck number three. This is for those of you that were drawn to the Chinese tarot, yeah? So let's see. I pre-shuffled the cards, but let me shuffle them again. I don't know why I feel the need to reshuffle some things. Okay, so let's see. What does this person want to say to you? Wow, I'm mad about you. I've never seen someone as attractive, as beautiful, as luscious. You are oozing sensuality. I want to put my face in your bosom. <laughs> I want to buy you flowers and spread them on a bed and make love to you amongst flower petals. I want to see you undress and then dress. <laughs> I just want to worship your body. I think you are gorgeous. I've never seen a person more in touch with their femininity, more sensual, more delicate, more loving than you. You are truly the person for me. Truly the person for me. But I'm not sure if I'm worthy of you. I mean, you're an empress. <laughs> and I'm just your humble servant. I have been undergoing a period where I've been struggling to raise my finances. I have suffered a loss. I'm a bit ashamed of saying that. I lost some money. I owed some money to someone. There was a debt I had to repay. Some money was stolen from me. I feel a little bit imbalanced at the moment. I feel like I need to provide a lot of financial goods back. I have to repay a lot of money. I have to put back the money into a loan that I had to get. And it's not making me feel very stable compared to you, to the full riches and just beautiful glow that you have. I just feel like I can't be at the same level as you at this time and it's crushing my spirit because all I want to do is be around you, feed you strawberries, take photos of you, Netflix and chill with you, be around you, give you babies. I just want to do everything, all those little things. I know I have it in, within me to become a master, to become this amazing king of coins. But it's difficult. I keep getting setbacks. I keep being pulled back to the drawing board, having to redo a lot of projects, a lot of work. I have clients that are stressing me out. I have to work with a lot of different teams I need to manage. But fear not. 
I know I have it within me. I'm stoic. I'm stoic. I'm strong and I'm capable. This is not just smoke and finger air. This is going to be something on which we can build a solid foundation on which we can build our home, our family, our future together. I want to grow old with you. And when I get you, I don't ever want to leave your side. It's like a treasure that I discover and I don't want to share it with anyone. I'm feeling really possessive of you, baby. I feel like very soon something that I've been waiting on is about to give in. A court order, a repayment, my inheritance. Something is about to come through. I'm looking forward to this with so much eagerness. You have no idea. The moment justice is created in this situation, the moment I see the light of day on a paper that I need to sign, on an agreement that needs to be invalidated, on a contract that owes me something or that is able to free me from something, that day it will be the day when you'll hear from me. I'll come rushing back to you because I miss you. The current situation with this loss that I suffered is making me say no to another beneficial opportunity. I feel like I'm also losing out on this relationship with you. I just feel like I'm in this period of losing, 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 losing. And I have to act very quickly. But the things that I want come in time with some effort, with study, with, with promotions that come or are related to people that cannot give me decisions like this overnight. I want to push forward so quickly in this relationship, but I feel as if I'm getting all these limits and blockages. And I don't want to miss out this opportunity with you because you are the queen of my heart. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm channeling all my energy and growing and learning and expanding. I also hope that very soon I'll be able to travel. I really want to just push forward. I'm eager. I'm impatient. I feel like I'm reaching the end of my tether. It's almost like something has got to give. I know you've been waiting and I'm sorry I've been keeping you waiting. And yes, very soon something will happen. Something will give in. A surprising event perhaps. Something that comes very quickly action will be taken. I will do my best to work through these obstacles as quickly as I can and then come towards you with the speed of eight wands. <laughs> because you are my boo. You are the person I want to grow old with. Just you and me. Just like those old people in the notebook. <laughs> Just you and me. I want us to have a very long, prosperous life where we can enjoy each other, where we can grow through the cycles of life. You are my counterpart. I've chosen you. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I've chosen you. I just had to retreat for a while because of the shameful loss. I didn't want to tell you, but as soon, as soon as I get the light of day on this decision, that unfortunately is not up to me, but it's up to other people in authority, I'll come rushing to you. I don't want to miss this opportunity. I want us to expand. I want this relationship to grow, to move forward. <laughs> I am so impatient. You have no idea. I'm boiling. I'm literally coming out of my skin. I'm dying to see you. Oh boy, I'm dying to make love to you. Oh, the things I want to do to you. If I can just get my hands on you. Oh, mama. Oh, baby, <laughs> I just, I want to go full spear ahead towards you. But unfortunately, I'm being blocked at the moment. You just have to wait a little while, a little while longer, okay? And I promise you, I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up. Everything you want, you will have with me. You're my empress. You're my empress. I just, I know who I need to satisfy and I know your worth now. After all this time, I know your worth. <laughs> so there will be a really passionate new beginning <laughs> prepare yourself okay I just want to come 
in between you <laughs> and all over you. I'm just so passionate about you, so driven. Honestly, I just can't wait any longer. I'm driven mad by all this waiting, this blockages, this limitations. Being away from you has only reminded me how passionate I am towards you. I can't wait to be in your arms again. I can't wait to kiss you, to smell you, to lick you. I can't wait to put my hands on you. I think that I really want to be so giving to you. I just want to unleash myself all over you. I don't know if you see, but I'm just like twice, <laughs> twice as impatient as I was two minutes ago. The more I think about you, the more I think about being with my empress, the more I'm like, oh, you know, there is no other option. You don't have to worry. There are no other options. I just want you. I've generously closed all my past relationships. I've put them behind me. I only have eyes for you. You're just something out of this world. You're so special. I've never met anyone like you. But I do hope that you won't break my heart. I do hope that you'll accept my love. <laughs> this tempestuous desire that I have for you, this need to just unleash myself on you, to just take you, to just be around you, to just nurture you, just have fun with you. I hope you won't break my heart. I genuinely hope you won't break my heart. And before you say anything cruel to me when I come back, just know that I'm really, really sorry. And just know that what was keeping me away from you were circumstances beyond my control. I didn't want this to happen. It came at the worst time possible when I met you. But I'm recuperating. And trust me, my love, I want you so badly and I'm almost driven mad by how long I have to wait to be with you again. I love you and I want you beyond belief. <laughs> okay, file number three, that was your reading. This person is ultra passionate about you and they just want to get it on. <laughs> But as you can see, there are certain life circumstances. I did get the court, a court procedure, court rulings. So it's something that is blocking them karmically. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Uh, share, like, subscribe, comment. Express yourself on my channel. Show that you support it. I'm always happy to read your comments. I'm always happy to see how you're making this channel grow. And you're always welcome in my family. I send you all my love. How do I make this sign like this? <laughs> bye guys. Bye bye.